Because sin that is coming will come. And Satan is never giving up. He has never given up. It is said in Revelation 12, 10. Now thanks to God, glory to Revelation 12, verse 10, 11. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is the salvation of heaven and strength. Please start again. And I heard a loud voice saying. I heard a loud voice saying. In heaven. In heaven. Now is come salvation. Now comes salvation. And strength. And strength. And the kingdom of our God. And the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. And the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren. The accuser of our brethren. Is cast down. Is cast down. Which accused them before our God. He accuses them every day. Always accusing this the intelligence and the angels. That is the job of Satan. He's always accusing. He's also looking at the negative side of people. He will never see anything positive. Don't sit down. You have to concentrate your heart on positivity. On the positive sides of human beings. There's no individual that has not gotten a negative side. But that is not what is given to you. Concentrate on the positive side. See the goodness in people. See the joy in people. When your eyes is looking at the negative side, you are becoming a bastard, a child, not of God again. The accuser of our brethren, who is always accusing them day in, day out. He has no other job than to accuse, to see the negative aspect. What? Take your eyes from the negative. If you see any negativity, pray for that individual privately. Pray, 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 pray. Yes. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. They overcame him by the power of the blood that was shed before the foundation of the world, the blood of the Lamb. Yes. And by the word of their testimony. And by the word of the testimony of the saints and the angels that God created this world. God created all. God has not created anything beyond his power. They gave testimony and he and his angels were sent out of heaven. If it could be so great, so powerful to take 33 one top percent of the angels worshiping God yeah. out of God's kingdom. Yeah. What is your strength? You have to be strong. You have to be strong. Starting well and moving well is easy. Finishing well is a challenge. That's why I said your good principle and goodness must become an addiction. Yes. Love not their lives unto, unto the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. Those, the testimony of the people who do not love their lives. They don't care for death. Like he says in 12, 25, if you love your life, you will lose it. If you hate your life, you will gain it. John 12, 25. If you say, ah, you are living your life in fear and trepidation. You are who so loves his life shall lose it. Who, whosoever hates his life, you are focused on the righteousness of God. And in the process, you don't even care if you are killed. You will gain your life. Shall keep it on to life you eternal. Will keep your life to life eternal. But if you are the fidget in time, if you are the love of life, I can't afford to miss it. I can't afford to lose it. You will lose your life and you lose your eternity. He said they were able to, so, to drive him out. Because even these angels and the saints, in the form of intelligence, they did not care losing their lives. 
We just want that bastard out of the throne of grace. And because Satan has, was once in that place, God has decided to change heavens also. It's not only changing the world, it's changing also heavens. It's bringing a brand new heaven. A brand new earth. Virgin heaven. Virgin earth. Completely resurrected from the pollution of Satan. And nothing hurtful, hating, or pride will be found in that world and in that heaven. It will be for those who are saying, Shalom, Shalom, peace of God unto you. For he says, without peace and love, nobody will see the kingdom of God. AD 12.14 Nobody will see the kingdom of God. He said, pursue peace and love, without which you cannot see the kingdom of God. Nothing hating, nothing disturbing will be allowed to filter. But the most important thing I'm sending it to you today, three witnesses are required for conviction, for death. Like it says in New Florida, chapter 19, verse 15. Let me chapter 17, verse 6. Then Christ also reiterated in Matthew 18, verse 16. And the evidence of three people. Yes. One witness cannot righteously be condemned. Yes. For any iniquity. Yes. Or for any sin. Yes. In any sin that he sinned. Yes. At the mouth of two witnesses. At the mouth of two witnesses. Or at the mouth of three witnesses. Yes. Shall the matter be established. The, once they have evidence from three witnesses, that person will be, will be killed. Hallelujah. Even because God saw that Sodom and Gomorrah were so filthy, polluted, he was ready to destroy them. But still, he wanted three witnesses. Genesis chapter 18. He said, three angels, you go there and see what I'm talking about. I want a report. Three angels were sent to Sodom and Gomorrah. I tell you that those people are wicked. They are homosexuals. But still, I want your evidence so that the Lord can be justified when he speaks and be clear when he judges. When the three angels got to Sodom, they did not even give their report to God. They just said, we have confirmed we have confirmed and he rained sulfur, fire and brimstone to reduce everybody there to ashes. Always asking for three witnesses. But because these three witnesses are either human beings or angels, and now we are talking of eternal death. The Lord himself now saying, I have to be the witness myself. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the three of them are there combined in the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. That's why it says in 1 John 5, 5, 7, 8, 9. This time around, because it is something that to render that person dead forever and ever. This time is not an evidence to keep people from this world, to destroy the flesh, but also to destroy the spirit and send the spirit to eternal jail, eternal hell. Yes. 
For there are three that bear record in heaven. There are three that bear records in heaven. The Father, the Father, the Word, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. The Word is Christ. And yes. these three are one. These three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth. And he has now come down himself. Is now the one standing as the witness. Yes. The Spirit. The Spirit. And the water. And the water. And the blood. And the blood. And these three agree in these one. These three agree in one. So the Lord has taken it upon himself now. To start. And that's why he said in Matthew 12, 31, anything you speak blasphemously against the Father, you'll be forgiven. Against the Son, you'll be forgiven. Against the Holy Spirit, in this one, the world will come, you'll never be forgiven. Because it's the seal of perfection of the witnessing of the Holy Trinity. And this Holy Spirit has been given the power to give the verdict. Can you read that, please? We have I said to you all manners of sin and blasphemy. Yes. Yes. And blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man. Whosoever speaketh a word against the Holy Ghost. Yes. It shall be forgiven him. Yes. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost. Yes. It shall not be forgiven him. Yes. Neither in this world. Neither in this neither world. Neither in the world to come. In the world to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why it says in John 16, 8, 9. They have transferred the witnessing and the conviction. Yes. And the Lord commended the unjust. But look. When he's come, he will rebuke the world. This Holy Spirit will rebuke the world. He's the only one. Now, he doesn't need the witnessing of anybody. No. He will rebuke the world of what? He will reprove the world of sin. Of sin. And of righteousness. And of righteousness. And judgment. He is the one that is going to reprove the sinners and justify those who are good and, yes, and give the judgment. If God is going to pronounce the verdict. Yes. Of sin because they believe not in me. Of, of sin because you do not believe. God. When they say believe, it means you are living in the word of Christ. If you don't live in his word, you don't believe him. You have to live your life, brethren, in the Lord. I stand before you in this world and the spiritual realm telling you, you must be strong. You must be courageous. You must look down upon everything in this world and look high upon things above. Yes. Of righteousness. Of righteousness. Because I go to my Father. Yes. And ye see me no more. Yes. Of judgment. Of judgment. Because the prince of this world is judged. He was one. I Immediately they transfer the ministry. <laughs> the ministry was with the Father before. At the end of the prophetic era of Malachi, it was transferred to the Son. The Son also maintained the ministry. Then from Acts of Apostles, it was transferred to the Holy Spirit. That is the final witness. Yes. I have yet, I have yet many things to say unto you. It's okay. For about judgment, the prince of this world has already been judged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He already judged Satan. What we are asking for now is execution. And the big problem, he demonstrated the way he judges. This is the Holy Spirit. He has taken over. In Acts of Apostles chapter 5, something happens. Verse 1, 2, 3, 4. But a certain man named Ananias. Ananias. Sapphira, the, the wife. Sold the possession. They sold their possession. 
I want you to understand and be very, very alive to what I'm saying. So when the Lord said, only few people will enter the kingdom of God, only few people, only few, extremely few will enter the kingdom of God because no filth, no unjust spirit, no liar, no covetous person, no idolatra, no adulterer, no thief, no liar, no coward will enter that place again. It's a resurrected world and a resurrected heaven. All angels that have not kept their position, they are also going into hell fire. God is no respecter. This life is short. The few days, months, and years we are spending, spend it in the righteousness of God. There is nobody with the standard. Only Christ Jesus is the standard of righteousness. Anything outside him is not of God. Yes. But a certain man named Ananias with yes. Sapphira, his wife, yes. sold the possession and kept back part of but the price. But literally all the disciples said, we want things to flow. We don't want anybody to be poor or anybody to be over rich. Let us sell and distribute. They came to that decision on their personal volition. Nobody forced them. And some did it. And Ananias and Sapphira also said, wanted to also say we are righteous. They also want to copy the other disciples. They also went and sold their possessions and then said to one another, let's keep this aside. They want to portray themselves as righteous. What they have sold was their own. The decision to sell was their own. The amount to bring to the apostles will be their own decision. You could sell for 100 million and say, I've sold for 100 million, but I can only release 1 million. If at the age of 25, 30, 40, 50, you are still lying, only the grave can give you liberty. And you know there's no liberty in the grave. Yes. But Peter said, Ananias. Peter was not the one talking. This is the inception of the reign of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't need any, any witness. It's because it's already it's in you. It's in you. It's in you. He said in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, do not grieve this Holy Spirit with which you have been sealed for the day of judgment. He's, in, he's been deposited in you. Yes. But Peter said, Ananias, why had Satan filled thine heart why to has lie Satan to the Holy Ghost? Why has Satan your heart to <laughs> lie to the yeah. Holy Ghost? And to keep back part of the price of the land. And to keep back part of the price of that land. While it remained, was it not your own? It was your own. And after it was sold, was after it not it your was own? Sold, it was your own. Why has thou conceived this thing in Why your heart? Why are you conceiving this in your heart? Thou hast not lied unto men. You but have unto not lied God. unto man. Hey. But unto God. The Holy Spirit has taken over. Is the heir of the fire and the son. He's been sealed. And what happened? And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and died and gave up the ghost. Hallelujah. The judgment of the Holy Spirit is instant. They were killed in this world and killed in the world to come. No hope of resurrection. Simply because of telling lies. I just want to let you know the demonstration of the witnessing and adjudication and judgment of the Holy Spirit. Immediately it took over Islam is judgment on Satan. Straight. Straight. He convicted Satan. Straight. So there's nobody examining them. There's no appeal. So Satan now knows 
that will be no that we have no part in the new heaven and the new world. We only have a part in the everlasting fire. Under, under, under. Burning with sulfur. He said their spirits will never die. They'll be screaming blue mother forever and ever. Hallelujah. This is the judgment of the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is in you. You cannot hide from that Holy Spirit. So whatever you are even doing in your room, whatever you are even doing under the water, whatever you are doing anywhere, is being recorded. The mind is the integrity of the individual. It's not what is coming out of your mouth. I want you to be mindful I want you to take salvation very, very seriously. Be, make a difference. Let them see you and say, this is a voja. There can be two vo voice of grace. It's a bath from above. You have been en entrusted to go into the world to change the crooked way and make it straight. To clear the path and prepare the way of the Lord. That's voice of grace, Isaiah 40. Go and straighten and prepare. That is the assignment. Whether the world likes it or not, it's going to happen. But you must be part of that glory. You must be a peculiar person, a peculiar treasure. The noise of the world has nothing to do with you. The noise in the internet has nothing to do with you. Yours is to focus your eye on your salvation. Let them abuse you. Let them persecute you. Let them give you names. It has nothing to do with you. But whoever touches you, touches the eye of God, he will pay for it. He says, stand still. Stand still. Don't help God. Don't help God. Don't help God. Don't help God. If you help God, you will pay for it. If they are doing anything to you and you are also responding, you are helping God. Who, sir, wanted to help God? He saw the cat shaking. He thought the covenant box would drop. He quickly and the Lord st struck him and he died. Second Samuel 6, he died instantly. Stand still. God does not need your help. Don't repay evil for evil. Bless those who are causing you. If you see anybody doing anything, just swallow it. Don't go to somebody and say, ah. Oh. No. Because it will be accounted against you. Don't be a transmitter. It's too long. You want my dear mom. It's too. It's just the first and the second. Just read it. It's, uh, Rejoice with us, brethren, in Lord around. Jesus. Yes. For the grace of call we have. Yes. The hour of disaster has come. Has come. That will set this world on fire. On fire. Sinners repent and Sinners sin no repent more. Sinners repent and sin no in more. In this celestial church. In this church. celestial church. Great and dreadful earthquake is now it's set. coming. Spiritual earthquake is coming. To and we swallow a number of people. To emit fire and so Celestia is going to cleanse the world. Whether the world likes it or not, Celestia has been assigned. All child will be blown out and substance we carry out the mission of the, of the king of kings. Yes. To emit fire and consume. Yes. If you don't want to be condemned. If you don't want to be condemned. Before your redeemer and judge. Yes. Cling on to Christ in this Cling on to church. Christ. Yes. Christ will be your helper. Yes. Second one, please. Soon father will not know his son. On that day, father will not know his son. Even if you know your son, you will not be able to save him. You will be running for your own life. You may go east and the son is running west. It's a period of terrible consternation. Yes. Nor the son know his father. No, the mother. Yeah. Withdraw from the world unto Christ. Withdraw from the conviviality, the violence, the wickedness of the world. 
from the lust of the world and follow Christ. He's waiting on his holy mount. He's waiting on his holy mount, stretching his hand to redeem you. Great consternation fast coming. Great consternation is fast coming. Repent and sin no more. Thank you. Repent and sin no more. Whatever little, little sin you are still struggling with, withdraw. The time is not waiting. The world is filled not with time, but with moments. If one moment elude you, you can't pick it up again. Whatever you are looking for in this parish, whatever, whatever you are asking God for, you will get it. Nobody can stop your blessing. Nobody. If there is a waiting, it's a waiting approved by God. And it's better for you to have that waiting when you are young. Because you must expect by waiting, God will identify you as his own. He will endorse you with the authentic blood of the Lamb. If you cannot wait, hey, hey, the ten virgins, five could not wait. Because they waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. Christ was not arriving. And I tell you, immediately, if Christ comes in now, those that of Christ, that candle in there will light up. Those that are not of Christ, the candle will be dead. That is the situation. So before the angels come, he knows those that are of Christ already. Hey. Suddenly, when they said they came at night, coming at night means they've been waiting for so long and they have now gone to bed. When they now came, Christ now came at night, there was noise. That's Matthew 25. There was noise. The ten virgins were people who were serving God, who were not fornicating. They don't have idolatry. They don't have. They were. When they call them virgin, it means people that are already meant for heaven. Yes. Yes, foolish. Yes. They didn't take oil with them. Are we talking of physical oil? We talk no spiritual oil because they have mortified, like it says in Ephesians 4 13. They have mortified, neutralized, suppressed the Holy Spirit in them. The Holy Spirit in them has decided not to operate again because of what? Because they truly, but there is anger, there is malice, they don't forgive, they don't forget. So when the king of kings came at night, the Holy Spirit, and they were all jubilant, there was trumpets, like a man, give you. Pa, 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 pa. You want to ask when I was there? <laughs> Just take it. <laughs> and swallow it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because at the appearance of the king of kings, the archangels will blow the trumpet. Like a man give you a giga. The entire heaven and earth will shake. The trumpet was eroding to announce that the king has finally come. Unexpectedly. Your joy will come unexpectedly. Amen. Even your enemies will celebrate with you. Amen. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Say I'm a liar. When it happens, know it's the truth of God. Hallelujah. They also stood up. The Holy Spirit pushed them out. Pushed them out. Ah, what have I done? They ran out. Ah, ah, ah. ah, I haven't forgiven this. I'm going to call her now. I'm going to have to embrace her. It is too late. Ah. What have I done? To the, the Holy Spirit pushed them out because the candle in them were dead. They were there. Where have I gone wrong? What have I done? They kept the law, but they were living their lives in malice, in anger, in hatred, in pride. You can never cohabit with Christ. Whatever is in you, punch it out. Not because of me, 
but because of your salvation, you are no Christian if you don't have character. Character is the first thing in Christianity. Character, love, peace, forgiving spirit, forgiving spirit, meekness, meekness, and keeping the commandment. Finally, finally, let me appeal to you, Philippians chapter 2, verse 1, 2, 3, verse 1, 2, 3, 4, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 12, 5, 6, 7. And I calm down. In me. And now dwell in me, the dwell in me. Yes. If, if there be therefore any consolation, if there's any consolation of love, in Christ, if any comfort of love, if there's any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, if there's any fellowship of the spirit in you, if any bowels of the mercy, you should have bowels of mercy. Who is that person that you should show mercy to that you have not shown mercy to? Fulfill ye my joy. Fulfill my joy today. Carry a bowel of mercy. Be merciful to everybody. Be humble. Be humble. There's nothing you are that billions of people have not been before you. And billions will be after you. You are absolutely not whatever title, whatever position. They are all transient. Whatever knowledge. Whatever, 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 whatever. They are transcend. Uh, your wisdom, your intellectuals very soon will be speaking like a, a baby. Uh, because the whole thing will have been ruptured because of age. Age. Even if you are using uh, what they are, what are they advertising? Pavid Pav pa 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 Paxlovid. <laughs> Continue. Fulfill you my joy. Fulfill my joy. That you be like minded. Be like minded with me. Having the same love. Having the same love. Being of one accord. Being of one accord with If anybody has offended you, sit that person down. Maybe through your advice, you will redeem his life. If you say you are not going to talk to that person, you are not going to. Oh, you have lost what you have come to the world to, 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 to preach. You have lost it. Yes. Be of one mind. Be of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife. Let nothing be done through strife. Of vain glory. Of vain glory. Don't look for your own personal glory. Regard other people as superior to you. Yes. But in lowliness of mind. In lowliness. Be meek. Join those who are meek. Because there's nothing you have that is not that is better than dust before God. Yes. And let each esteem other better than themselves. Esteem other people as better than you. Don't look down on anybody. You are Mr. Mrs. Nobody. God respects only those who fear him, who love, who are humble, who regard and take the interest of other people to heart. If you are living a life of solitude, me, 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 one would die. Me, 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 me. Look not every man on his own Go prince. to chapter 4. I'll read from verse 4. And let me calm down. Rejoice in the Lord always. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say. I say to you. Rejoice. Rejoice. There's nothing to make you sorrowful. If you have Christ. If you know in sincerity. You have Christ. No, you have, don't see that yet. You don't have to be sorrowful. Rejoice in the Lord. Because that thing you are pursuing will be given to you. Uh, when, so, when your glory is delayed, when it is then released, it is a glory that will send other people glory or, or, or never. <laughs> he will give you master glory. Master glory. When you wait on the Lord, you can never be put to shame. Yes. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Let your moderation let your moderation don't be a person that is uh, I want to be seen. I want to be I want to tell you that you want to be seen. Yes. The Lord is at hand. The coming of the Lord is at hand. Christ is at hand. He's at the door. Yes. Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. But be careful for nothing because all you are pursuing, they are nothing. 
Yes. But in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication, by prayer and supplication and thanks, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, let your requests be let made, your known, to made known to Christ. And the peace of God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, which passeth every understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds, Amen, through Christ Jesus. Yeah.